You know what today is? Remember in my last video, the motion category blocks, I promised you guys that I would make you an awesome project. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna keep my word and then we're gonna make an awesome project together. And you can follow along with my code. Okay, this is gonna be an awesome project. Time to teleport. Scratch. You can always go click on your account name and click my stuff and I will show all of your shared project. Let me open the game I created. This is a fun maze game I created for me and my brother to play. Let me show you first how to play. So we need to make the ball go to the goal. You click the up arrow, the ball will go up. If you click the down arrow, the ball will go down. The left arrow will make the ball go left. And right arrow will make the ball go right. So let us try it out first. This is a hard program. I mean, a hard maze I program. I hope you guys like trying it out. Because I will soon play it on public. Going. The ball is going. Oop, he's reached opening. Going. Uh oh. I think we can go right there. 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 Uh oh. Hmm. There. 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 And oh my god, it's a goal for the red red box! I just added that cool sound. Okay, great. Now let me show you how the code I wrote to get this rope. First of all, you need the maze. We have two options. We can create our own backdrop and draw all the lines we want and want and want. Or we can upload an image as a backdrop. I showed how to do both of these options in my previous tutorials. Hope you guys remember. If not, you can go check the backdrops tutorial. So I got a maze image online and uploaded it as it is a backdrop. Now we need two sprites. A ball and a goal. I got both from our sprites library. Now, let us look at the code to make this work. I have added the code for the ball. First block is when green flag clicked to start a game. Then, we are giving the position where the ball should start. I got the go to X, Y block from the motions category. Then, I wrote the code to control the movement of the ball. You already know that the value of X controls the horizontal movement and value of Y controls the vertical movement. So, changing value of X will control ball from moving left or right. And changing the value of Y will control the ball from moving up or down. Let me tell you one thing actually. If you don't know that the vertical movement is y and the x movement is horizontal um so you could just check my sprites video so you can see here that when up arrow click i have used the motion block to change y by three 
which means it will move three steps upward. When down arrow click, I have used the change Y by negative three from the motion box, which means it will move three steps down. Same way, when the right arrow is clicked, I have used the change X by three from motion locks, which means it will move three steps to the right. And finally, when left arrow is clicked, I have used the change X by negative three from motion blocks, which means it will move three steps to the left. And we want to do this continuously until it reaches the goal. So we have all this code inside a forever loop. And to make it a little cooler for my brother, I just record the sound playing it when the ball touches the goal. It says, it's a goal for the record books. And then we have stopped all. That's not the correct sound, okay? Oh my god, it's a goal for the record books. Yeah, that's the correct sound. Blocking the end, which will stop the forever loop. That's fun. This is a simple game I created to show you how you can use the motion blocks we have learned on the last video. Okay, guys, we finished today's video. It was an awesome time. I hope you liked my Mason created. So, you could either um, follow along or you could use mine as an example and then try to create something like my project. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye!